Dear partners, good day. Glad to see you all today on our webinar. My name is Evgenia and I'm an international account manager in itglobal.com. IDG is a group of companies with profound and diversified background and experience in different areas of IT business, such as, but not limited to, infrastructure as a service provision and international system integration. In addition to this, our team has elaborated several solutions, such as an IT SAM system called SimpleOne, a click and buy cloud platform called Service Space, a hyper converged platform called Bistack. But today we'll talk about our traffic analysis and prioritization solution for telecom providers and internet service providers called Stingray Service Gateway by Voss Experts LLC. If any questions arise during our presentation, please feel free to ask them in the chart and I will gladly answer them right after the presentation. Let me start with some facts about Stingray Service Gateway. We'll call it SSG further. SSG entered the market in 2013 and since then, more than 1,000 providers in Russia, Eastern Europe and Asia have chosen SSG. You can see the geography of our installations on the slide. As you can see, the majority of the installations are located on one continent, but we'd like to go further and we believe that we have a complex but flexible enterprise level solution, which is well established and can become an optimal part of your network. Today, I will tell you what the idea of SSG is and what the main elements of the system are. The second part of the webinar will be devoted to key server roles. And after this, I'll provide you with some useful links to the materials about SSG so that you could have them in hand and revert to them anytime when required. The main idea of creating the SSG was to elaborate an all-in-one solution combining key elements of every ISP's network, such as deep packet inspection platform or DPI, broadband network gateway or PNG, and carrier create net server or CGNet. All-in-one solution aims to be easy to maintain, operate, configure, and manage, and as a result, to make your life easier. SSG is a software-defined solution. It means that all you need to get started is a standard x86 server that meets the system requirements of the SSG for the traffic volume in your network. SSG is a layer two or SI model device. It means that the solution is bridging the traffic between inbound and outbound interfaces. These are two main ways of implementing SSG in the network. Inline, where SSG connects between edge router and core switch. We recommend this scheme as only in this case, you'll be able to use full functionality of the solution. But nevertheless, you could also choose Miro or out of line scheme. Traffic mirroring is performed through span parts or optical splitters. It could be used for blacklisting and statistics collecting. As per the hardware part, performance of the SSG depends directly on the power of the platform and the software limits, of course. Let me give you an example. When I say SSG to energy license, it means that the license may work out up to 15 gigabits per second of inbound traffic and up to five gigabits of the outbound. So the license is limited only per traffic volume. Please note that the number of subscribers of physical ports are not limited. For SSG to energy, you will need, look at line three of the table on the slide, please. So you will need 16 core CPUs, 64 gigabits of memory and, and, and an adapter with Intel DPDK technology support. There are a lot of adapters of this type, but we recommend you to focus on Intel X710 chipset. You can see the super micro server platform in the picture. CPU socket is LGA3647. It is designed for Intel processor. For AMD, you could choose AS1113 WN10RT. If we refer to a software part of the solution, it is important to say that SSG has three different editions. 
BNG, Base, and Complete. The first edition, which is called BNG, is the most popular. It includes all functions that each modern ISP needs, such as NAT, routing, subscriber termination, captive portal. Subscriber channel policy may be executed by some usual metrics, as well as by application layer protocol. Base license is used mostly for deep packet inspection. It includes traffic prioritization and analysis, as well as filtering by blocklisted internet sites and applications. It is mostly used to comply with the regulator's requirements for blocking dangerous or prohibited sites and apps. And the third version is named complete, and it's a combination of BNG and base functionality. As for the licensing models, there are two of them available. Subscription model that works as a service model, you pay monthly and consider only operational expenses. And perpetual model, when you get a lifelong license with annual support fee. Let me show how the solution looks like from a user's perspective. This screen opens by default right after you log in. Here you can see CPU usage, active processes, memory usage, network interfaces, traffic statistics, and net statistics. In the header, you can see the name, Fast Experts DPI. Do not be confused, it's the name of SSG for some countries. All system perimeters can be configured through forms. <clears throat> you can see the interfaces configuration description on the right. Also, there is a CLI as well as JSON RPC API for integration with existing information systems of an internet service provider. Dashboard section collects all the important information about your network on one page and can be customized as per your requirements. Here you can also use uh, JSON RPC API for integration with existing information systems if you want to upload statistics to the dashboard of your support service, or for example, upload statistics to your client's personal account. Another important section of the graphic user interface is layer 7 OSI model application protocols, where a protocol recognition is done using DPI engine signature analysis. This is necessary to understand what protocols are running in the operator's network and how much bandwidth they occupy. Using filters, you can view statistics by date and time for specific sub subscribers and directions. So let us move to the second section of our webinar and here are the key options of Stingray Service Gateway. Traffic prioritization or quality of service, it's the main tasks, task of the DPI server. BNG server, also known as BROS, carrier grade net server or large scale net. Traffic analysis option that is called quality of experience. Traffic prioritization is one of the features of SSG, also known as quality of service. You can use, reduce uh, your uplink costs by more than 25% using this option. How could you do that? The peak of bandwidth utilization usually happens in the evening and usually in the same hours, exceeding the normal rates from 30 to 15, 50%. If you do not pay for exceeding the standard channel capacity, then during rush hours, users will notice problems, especially while watching videos and playing online games. High quality service in prime time is an important criteria for assessing the quality of service for a telecom provider or an ISP. So when we looked at the graphic user interface application protocol slide, we determined which protocols are running and how much bandwidth they require and at what time. We can apply correct policies on traffic without compromising the quality of connection for subscribers. This is how it looks like in the graphical user interface. There are eight classes in the system. Zero is the highest priority. We have placed DNS traffic in this class to ensure the fastest possible establishment of a client server connection. We have assigned classes two and three to the messenger's traffic in order to minimize losses during voice communication. Classes can be assigned not only to a single protocol, but also to a group of protocols. For example, by selecting the instant messages group. Class seven has the lowest priority. 
and reassign it to torrent traffic so that it doesn't fill out the channel, it doesn't raise the cost of the uplink in the peak hours. The implementation of the traffic prioritization option of the SSG system pays off on average after six months in Western Europe, where the price for an uplink is not very high. And if your region has narrow or expansive channels, then the option is the first what you should pay attention to when planning the development of your network. The next server role is PNG server. The main reason to modify an existing data transfer network is the traffic volume increase. While investing into network infrastructure, providers consider the solutions that will not only expand the broadband capability, but will also make the business more profitable and competitive. Second important factor is possible unstable operation of an existing BNG equipment. In some cases, BNG fails and requires the urgent replacement. In other cases, BNG has serious lags, while stable gateway operations are business critical. Network address translation service is also of high importance. This technology converts private or gray IP addresses into external or white ones. Here, a provider needs to decide either to employ NAT as a separate feature or as a part of a BNG solution. The majority of virtual BNGs are built on layer three software routers. SSG is built on DPI engine. So the solution supports the functionality starting from L2 level which may be crucial for some providers. As you can see, this scheme implies several BNGs for different network segments. I'd also like to draw your attention to such network elements as policy and ch charging rules function, or PCRF server and unified data repository, or UDR. PCRF server provides BNG interaction with a billing system via RADIUS protocol. UDR memorizes the last features of a subscriber, providing an opportunity to synchronize several BNG systems. It helps increasing system fault proof, as well as decreasing billing system database load. Combination of various functions in one hard and soft solution allows a telecom operator to perform the main tasks like BNG, NAT, and routing using just one and only device. The provider also gets additional opportunities to develop its network with DPI technology, while the transparent redundancy design and the single control point of the solution make life of the system administrators easier. As shown on the diagram, SSG can work with different network segments with different methods of subscriber authorization. In our understanding, Layer 3 BNG is IPOE authorization by IP address. Layer 2 BNG is either PPOE authorization using a username password pair or authorization by MAC address via RAP request or DHCP request with DHCP relay support. Option 82 in DHCP request or RADIUS proxy when RADIUS server is used instead of DHCP server. BNG is a technically complex solution. Therefore, all SSG licenses include remote installation. We create a chat in a messenger and help you with all the issues during the implementation process. Engineers help with settings by preparing a, a configuration preset based on a questionnaire. This is how the subscriber section looks like in the graphical user interface. If you manage subscribers manually, you could easily do it here. Let us move on to the next server role of SSG, and it's the network address translation server. Here it is. As I've already mentioned, we recommend combining the NAT server with the BNG server, but it's also possible to use it separately. The NAT server should receive subscribers data from a radius traffic copy. The main features of NAT server are the following. It complies with industry standard standards defined in RFC. It supports GRE tunnels. IPv4, IPv6 dual stack will give you time to prepare your network for IPv6 implementation and still have transparent and reliable network address translation. The application layer gateways ensure that multi-channel applications connect normally to the entire internet, no matter which IP version is used. Full netlock 
You could find network translations in the interface, export it, or SSG could send it to an external collector via IPFIX protocol, also known as NetFlow V10. High performance of the platform is ensured. Our net supports all modern functions such as providing transparent operation of P2P protocols such as P2P, torrents, and games, paired IP address pooling, all subscriber connections from one IP private internal address are bound to one external address. It is possible for subscribers to connect via CGNet to interact with each other's public addresses without sending packets outside the device. There are custom limits on TCP and UDP connections per user, which is vital for improving port utilization and protection against DDoS attacks. It also gives additional flexibility. The next section is quality of experience, and it's a very useful addition to SSG. Quality of experience is responsible for statistic gathering and viewing subscribers' perception of services. Quality of experience system should be installed on additional server, physical or virtual, and consists of two elements, the data database and the graphic user interface. The ISP can cover a variety of tasks for sale and marketing with the help of Coir, thus increasing revenue and decreasing the subscribers' outflow. Technical department may benefit from Coir in terms of troubleshooting, monitoring, prediction of different issues in the network. Here are more details of how Coir may help. You can identify the subscribers looking for others, other providers in your region, and your customer support may successfully use this information and haul up the subscriber. You could find the subscribers owning smart TV or gaming consoles and offer them special tariffs of services. You could search for subscribers using OTT services to sell your own OTT services or cable boxes. It's also possible to notify subscribers about special deals and services via redirects from an HTTP page. You could also collect feedback on the quality of service or recent technical support tickets. And your technical team will use such parameters uh, as RTT or round trip time or ping or TCP REST or red transmits. It's about a packet loss for and of course, it's useful for faster and easier troubleshooting. So as promised, you could see the useful materials on the slide. And if you're interested and want to know more, please watch the graphic user interface video review on YouTube. And you will find the link in the chart. You could also find a lot of information on our website, idglobal.com, in the section for telecoms. You could not only learn more, but also download materials, read use cases, and fill out a feedback form to get a quotation and a demo version of SSG. So that is it from me for today. Uh, let us see what is in the chart. What are the questions? And here are the contexts. And let us move to the questions. The first one is, can I install SSG on a virtual machine? Uh, my answer is yes, you can, but we recommend using a bare metal installation for production as the hypervisor provokes delays to the SSG. But for testing, virtual machine is absolutely fine. Do you have NAT64? It's quite a rare question, frankly speaking, but not at the moment. We have some plans for it. We use dual stack to broadcast IPv4 to IPv6, but not the net, net uh, 64. What is the economic benefit of an SSG? Well, if you remember in the middle of the webinar, I described our traffic prioritization feature. Usually in peak hours, you need to exceed the standard channel capacity. Otherwise your clients face some delays, lower speed and so on. In this case, the number of subscribers rests the same, but your expenses grow, so you get lower margins. Traffic prioritization helps solving this problem, minimize your expenses, and increase your subscriber satisfaction and loyalty as a result. 
you could also you will also have a recording of this webinar and you could uh, see this uh, section again if my bandwidth is rapidly growing will i need to purchase a new system for high traffic volume that's quite a nice question thank you if your bandwidth grows and you feel that you'll soon exceed the capacity of your current ssg you will only need to purchase the upgrade for next version thus paying only the price difference between the existing license and a new one please remember that your server should have the corresponding productivity modern service server platforms provide an opportunity to upgrade the productivity without changing the physical platform itself by changing the processors increasing the number of network interfaces or ram it's much more cost effective in comparison with purchasing a totally new DPI platform for higher traffic volumes, isn't it? So this is how you could protect your investments in your network. I believe these are all questions for today. Thank you so much for your attention and for you being so active and asking questions. Uh, you will get the recording of the webinar. Thank you again. and please continue visiting our webinars. Have a nice day, bye.